Popular demand and minor threat. Uh, and I bring you this week's episode of Shower Time Reviews. Uh, it's been a little while since I've last been here. And for the last time I believe I was on, I visited a co star's house to work on a video together. It's all now. And we did the outside review special to commemorate my last video before going away on the for a little while. And it is about time that I return. So the reason I stopped is I had um, I took up a school sport in the meantime and I was not able to do any nightly. And then when that ended about a month or so ago, I just didn't have the effort or urge to do anything with my life. And I was also caught up in work a lot, which doesn't really affect this at all, because I still bathe every night. That was another thing, too. A lot of people suggested I'd stop because I'd simply stop bathing, which is not true, but it's kind of funny to think about. And today, it is a Thursday, and tomorrow will be the big junior prom. So consider this a little gift. For, uh, come back right before everybody has fun tomorrow evening. And as a little treat for myself and the new viewers, they will be reviewing Neapolitan ice cream sandwiches from the Sunday shop. E. So, personally, I'm not a fan of Neapolitan because I do not like strawberry ice cream all that much. Um, though it's not like I'm much of a connoisseur in that regard. I kind of just eat ice cream with ice cream. Well, this has been sitting here for a little while, so take a look at the box, and let's uh, just uh, pop that aside into the puddle and cover the cream. So this has already been sitting here for a little while, so it's a little, you know, melted. So blast it at that. And why don't we just jump on right into it? I'm going to try and take this package off before it dissolves in the water, and try and enjoy it. I'm not too scared to get my hands sticky today because I would otherwise have to be very careful when eating these because of how, you know, messy they are. So let's take this. Let's start with the strawberry. Now, as of recently, I just had on a big craving for a strawberry flavored thing. And I bought a whole little jug of strawberry syrup, Hershey's, and chocolate syrup as well. And I've been having chocolate syrup and my cereal and milk in the morning, and I've been enjoying that quite a lot. Although strawberry ice cream, it is still good. It normally has the pieces of frozen strawberry in there, and while I do enjoy regular strawberries, the frozen part of them make them almost inevitable. So I'm going to take this piece of garbage and throw it to the floor. I'm going to take a while of strawberry. Very creamy, being in part due to the fact that it's melted, and that fact, I think it's also made very well, well, very well made, very creamy. I'm trying to taste the strawberry. Well, the flavors are a little blended. I also just like how, more often than not, these bars will start to stick to your hands. But I sit there because of the oil on your skin and shit. Uh, and stuff. And it's usually very unpleasant, which is why I use about to hold it in place when I need it. So let's take the plate out of the vanilla. Very good. So overall it tastes really good. I'm a fan of Sunday shop. 
Uh, they make a very good brand of Italian waters. And from an Italian upbringing, I find them traditional. And also a just good, good treat to every once in a while. There's one flavor one kind of flavors. I decided against it because I didn't feel like they'd be too uh, entertaining to watch. So right now I just have to go this one. Now before we use the chocolate, let's set this down for a minute. And take a look at our show for today. It is almost identical to the one I've been using for the past months that I've ever done this. I don't really, again, have a choice in the soap I use. And I really don't care either. So here's Men's 3-in-1 by Swap. And let's apply a handful of it. I'm trying really careful not to get the floor wet because as of lately we've had plumbing issues and the wall has to be ripped out below me and if water gets out of the shower it will leak directly into the kitchen and ruin the day of whoever's down there. So there's a gaping hole in the wall that I've seen, you know, small insects come out of, you know, just like little bugs that crawl in your head sometimes. So maybe a spider once in a while. Not too often, but it's still very not pleasant to look at. I have a towel down there to protect against that. And anyway, it's still a little off topic. I just figured to give a little bit of home like you know, a little bit of interesting things about myself. Uh, let's get this view in there. So they could be enough three more, you know. But, ooh, as I've mentioned before, uh, oh, I just uh, one down the shelf. Okay, I dropped it. Let's keep this together and fall apart. It is really, really late right now, and I don't want anyone to find out about this. So, get it all the snack on. So, one of the better things with this is you can apply it directly to the towel before you actually use it, and go right from your head to the rest of your body. So I have on the towel, there are bits of chocolate on there. Just a little bit of added flavoring, yeah. So, take it to the body. Get a little neck in there. Wet. Go right to the head. Wonderful. Wonderful. Pleasant citrus smell, although I can't really tell what it is. It just smells like so one of them other flavors and scents that no one ever knows really. Uh, yeah, my Come from. Let's get one last little hit to the head. Nice. A little bit of a mixture action in there. Looking pretty good, looking good. This looks kind of nice. All right, let's finish off this chocolate that has now merged to my uh, shower wall. I can't see out of my left eye. I'm going to try my best to scrape this off. And by a vow that I made to myself, I will, in fact, eat this. I'm not going to enjoy it, but I am a critic. So, let's take a bite. Mmm. Oh. Um, oh, looks like a pimp. Pimp brownie. Oh, my brain freeze. Ugh. Wonderful. And let's have a little piece of this brownie. It's like you dipped it in milk, huh? Mm, uh, I don't remember how that exactly goes in milk. You know, dipping sweets and other pastries in there. I think it was water originally, but then everybody um, didn't think it tasted good or something, and they needed something to put milk on. So maybe it was like a marketing strategy. This is nonsense. I don't know why I'm saying this. I just thought it was interesting to talk about. I really don't know why I'm saying this or doing this. But imagine it is something worth knowing. Who knows? Maybe bleh, maybe we'll use it one day. It's uh, I'm not making too much mess here. Oh, it's too much to swipe anything in my eye. Alright, let's uh. Okay, I restored vision to both my eyes, and in fact, I actually just got soap in both of them, so that didn't help at all. <laughs> oh, I mentioned I'm a little sick. <coughs> oh, I'm in the hell now. Yeah. Right, I apologize for that. Anyway, I'm going to pretend this is just doesn't matter to this. So, once again, let's pick up and we'll use up this cardboard box. The ice cream shop. Sunday shop. Ice cream sandwiches in the coffee flavor. Some to 12 pieces. My father ate most of a lot of them, and I had a few as well. And I'm sure my siblings have not. 
taken two as well. Luckily, I found one left and was able to have some and shared with you guys tonight. So once again, uh, have a good night, have a good day with your prom date tomorrow. Have fun, have fun with that. I know myself. I'm going to enjoy the evening, have a nice little friend's house. So I will have a good post prom party, and I hope you all enjoy your post prom and prom as well. Have fun with your dates and have a good night, everybody. And Hopefully, I can continue to upload regularly from here on out, and welcome back. So, bye.